August Murphy learned a long time ago to take life in stride. She may be in the hospital, but that doesn't mean she has to stop working out. Yeah, 1.6. 1.6. Good. Okay. August has cystic fibrosis, a genetic disease of the body's mucus glands that causes persistent lung infections and progressively limits the ability to breathe. Nice deep breath. For the past year, she's been training to run the last mile of a 5K on Sunday to raise money for the surgery she hopes will save her life. Double lung transplant. Um, and at this point, it's not if that will need to happen because we know it will. It's just when. She ended up at Maine Medical Center recently after a string of stifling hot days that left her gasping for breath. I felt like I was suffocating. Um, couldn't catch my breath, um, couldn't do stairs without feeling like I was going to pass out, and it scared me. August is 35. She knows the statistics are not in her favor. As patients get older with CF, the most common cause of, of death in CF is from progressive lung disease. And so the average lifespan now is about 40 years of age, and we're making progress every day. And we have patients like August who are out and working hard every day to keep their fitness up, but it's a daily challenge. When August was growing up, her parents made sure her disease didn't define her. She had what she describes as a pretty normal childhood. Graduated from Falmouth High School, went on to cosmetology school, always focusing on the future. I am not the person that sits in what was me, like what I don't have and what I can't do. It's, it's what I can do. She's counting on that can-do attitude to keep her on track for this weekend's 5K. It will take every ounce of her strength and stamina to run that mile. You <coughs> see that? But she's determined to raise money and to inspire others to reach for what may sometimes feel out of reach. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I was weary because of this setback of being here. But, um, I mean, in the end, my lungs are going to be a lot better, and I'm still continuing to train, so I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Those who know her don't doubt that for a second. I'm okay. How are you? In Portland, Susan Kimball, Portland right. Press-Herald. Well. <laughs>